بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله <coughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and bless you guide us and guide you forgive us and forgive you during this holy month of Ramadan and I want to remind myself and my brothers and sisters to give uh, sadaqah to give in charity for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, in order to have a forgiveness for your sins to expiate for your sins and to purify your wealth and purify yourself from those things which you love which is, is often our hearts are attached to wealth and there are other ways to give sadaqah as we mentioned prior to this and in a hadith <coughs> the hadith of Shu'bah رضي الله تعالى عنه ورحمه الله رضي الله تعالى قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اتق النار ولو بشك تمر فإن لم تجد فبكلمة طيبة the Prophet وسلم, said, as is reported in uh, Sahih al Bukhari, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, fear Allah, uh, fear the nar, fear the nar, or protect yourself from the fire. Ittaqu, ittaqu nar. So protect yourself from the fire, from the fire. Even if it were with, with a date palm seed and if you do not possess that then with a kalimat al tayyibah with a righteous uh, word giving salams something kind to say offering some some goodness through your speech and so what we learn from this is that a, a kalimat al tayyibah is a type of sadaqah and it is from bir it is from righteousness and piety and that it is something that will protect you from the hellfire because the prophet والسلام, began in the hadith he said nara. he said you know uh, protect yourself from the fire And that and, and and it shows us that even something simple as a date palm seed, you know, something that the people think is insignificant, that this can be a type of charity. If your intention is there and you, you're trying to help someone. It could be something simple as a, a coin that they need. Or some some service or a minor assistance. That there's many ways that you can do a type of, uh, of charity and do this act of goodness. And the act of goodness does what? It protects you from the nar. It protects you from the high fire. And so, from that protection of the nar, protection from the fire, is kalimat al righteous, a righteous word. And kalimat al-tayba, habit al-fillah, can also be, of course, dhikr. And if it has to do with the rights of others, or meaning if it has to do with others, then of course, that kalimat al-tayb, although you can remind someone of dhikr, to, rem to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that's one of the highest things you can do, because that's one of the highest things you can do is dhikr, dhikr of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But saying something that brings happiness and goodness and positive, that this is also from kalimat al tayyibah and also from charity, and also protects you from the fire. 
And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of people of good speech, good conduct, people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased, uh, who people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many, many sins and shortcomings and bless us with ilm and nafiyah, wa rizq and tayyibah, wa amal and muttaqabbinan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.